Now, when doing LN, if you guys remember from last class period, um, what we talked about LN, if you guys look over there, um, basically LN is going to, it's, it's natu called the natural logarithm, but it just means that it has the base E. All right, and I know we haven't really discussed a lot of what E is, um, but just notice when we do logs, we can have log of any number, right? When we have the base of a logarithm as E, rather than writing log, we just write ln. So it's important for us to understand that there is a base E here. But again, before we even get to that, let's just go ahead and use our rules of exponents. We see there's the division, right? So therefore, we're going to break up the two logarithms by subtraction. So I'm going to write ln of 1 minus ln of the square root of e. Now, the square root of e can also be rewritten as e raised to the 1 half power. Um, OK. <clears throat> oh, actually, you know what? I think I've done this in pre-calc. I think this is in the pre-calc book, if I remember correctly. Um, so now, there's a couple things. If you guys, we, if you remember your rules of exponents, um, you would see that this would equal, we could just cancel the e out because we know there's an e there. Or you could bring the 1 half up front. So you have ln of 1 minus 1 half ln of e. Why was the e on the first one? Wait, why is there e at the bottom? Okay. Guys, remember when we talked about logs? I said logs, you can have any number as your base, yeah. right? What I'm saying is, when you have e, e is a number. We haven't really talked about it, though. e represents it. e is a number, though. It's not a variable, OK? It's a number. It's a number. So when you have e, instead of writing log, we just write ln. And it really just means there's an e there. It's called the natural logarithm. We, don't have, we haven't had time. We didn't go through it in this class really explaining it. So I really just want you to under, represent, understand that when you have ln, it's the same thing as log. It just means there's a base e. Okay? Log of e is the same thing as ln of e. You don't really have to add it. You just need to know it's there. So if I say ln, see, look at These are the same thing. You don't have to show that e is there. We just assume. We know that e is there. So what I'm trying to tell you, though, is if you guys remember your rules of exponents last class period, e, ln of e, when you have a logarithm, of 5 raised to the 5. 5 raised to what power gives you 5? 1. one. one. E raised to what power gives you E? One. 1. E raised to what number gives you 0? Or I'm sorry, E raised to what number gives you 1? Zero. 0, right? Any base raised to 0 is always going to give you 1. So you have 0 minus 1 half times 1. 0 minus 1 half equals negative 1 half. Well, I ended up, I was able to eliminate everything. 